After being forced to close their doors during the pandemic, many local businesses impacted by COVID-19 are now starting to reopen, albeit slowly. CBS 17 is holding Kerwicki live right now at the Museum of Natural Sciences, which welcomed back the first visitors this morning. Hold it. Well, Bill, it, you know, it seems like we've been closed down for so long that there's every aspect of our life has been impacted, and that includes the museum, but it's a bit of normal so to be, be back. You're still not allowed to touch any of the exhibits, but you will notice a few changes around the, the, the museum, including more hand sanitization stations. Visitors are allowed to enter the museum now in 30-minute increments, and they're limiting capacity at the museum to 300 people at any given time. Their hours have changed slightly, and the building is now closed Mondays to allow for deep cleaning as well as mandatory masks for all visitors and the fourth floor of the building is completely closed off. Despite being closed to guests for six months, Director Eric Dorfman told me there's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes. We're very passionate about the stories we tell and the way we can invite guests in and, and take care of them. And of course, we haven't been able to do that. So uh, while the science has been still happening, the researchers have been working, it's been very, very difficult. Now, if you're still not sure about coming back inside the museum, but still want to check out some of the exhibits, there are a number of options online. We're working to get that information on our website, cbs17.com. Just check back about 1 o'clock. Reporting live in Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.